jersey for the first time in close to a decade. A major champion will be crowned in the Garden State. We get it revved up with the first round of the Players' Championship here from Bolero, North Brunswick. We've got four showdowns for you over the next couple hours here on FS1. This is a true bracket system, no step ladder. Top fours of the 12 advance to tomorrow's action. We crown a champion in the players next Sunday on Fox. Hey, John, I know this is uh, your, your first uh, PBA telecast, but you're in for a treat as, as are our viewers this afternoon. And that's because of this young man right here. Fastest strike ball ever recorded on the PBA tour under the bright lights. Well, one, he's he's as strong as an ox, and he does it so effortless, right? I mean, he doesn't look like he's uh, exerting a lot of effort, but he's a big, strong kid, and uh, I think he learned a little bit from his father. He's got good genes in that family, like you mentioned, third-generation PBA champion on the regional side three-time PBA Tour champion Eugene. Let's talk a little bit more about the McCunes as we go. As here is Zach Tackett, his first ever telecast appearance. <laughs> Look at you. Leaves oh, the nine. Yes. take that so you're going to have bad games throughout 48 games crossing this entire center there's a strike from the oh, 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 oh. Oh. back to back from McCune this is just bringing the thunder right here and his arsenal he's going with I believe it's a carbide tank. Some work to do with a few years back talking with Walter Ray. Look out. Talking with the winningest player in the history of the sport, Walter Ray Williams Jr. And he's doing it for Gomer this week. His grandfather passing away on Monday. And grandpa would be proud of that. Nice bounce back for Zach. And his early lead up by 24 here in the fourth frame working on a double. Fourth between Cork Roll and Taylor Ham. Good cover. We asked Kevin about his athletic career. Boom, get out your hard hat. Baseball player, and he said that that has helped him with bowling because he can see the patterns. Beauty there. Tackett punches right back, and we've got a duel. An all-in-the-family showdown here. First TV show for both of these players. All right, get over there. Oh, you dirty rascal. Okay. Good cover. Zach Tackett, Kevin McCune. Son of three-time champion Eugene. Ooh, fast eight. Using a 15-pound brutal collision. Brutal collision. Isn't it ironic that that's what happens every time he throws a ball at the one-three pocket? Yes. From his dad, Eugene. Mm. In the left lane. And it's hard for him to get softer with his ball speed. Two, four, five, and still up. He can throw it underhand. That's got a hook. Yeah, big trouble. And leads to 10 up. Enough jabs, and, and then all of a sudden you get hit with a right hand, and there it is. Only way to learn is by going through it. Exactly right. It's a process. Tried. It's the school of hard knocks, right? So you come out. <laughs> and a fist pump for McCune. He played Zach in high school. Yeah, they have a little history. High 20s, maybe a 21, but that's it. 
You don't put it lightly when you say take out your hard hat. Very fireball. Boom. Softer. Yes. So they would hook more. Yes. History. John. Man. To mark to win, Mika leaves a 10 pin and misses it. Got it. Got it. How about Zach? Come on! Oh boy. Zach making a name for himself this evening. And all of a sudden, John, for the first time, he's given Kevin McCune something to think about. You can sense that thought from his facial expression. Gotta make it. What do they call that in the business? Mm. Not today. Get out your hard hat. It'll be doing work on a Sunday. And see what he's got. That was nice there. Beauty. Kevin McCune had to go through one tackle today. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll have to go through another tomorrow. Here's where we stand in the Players' Championship. Kevin McCune will meet two-time Majors champ this year, EJ Tackett, tomorrow at noon on FS1. Now, who will meet Tomas Keiko? We're going to find out in the 5-12 showdown. Patterns, the short pattern. 39 feet on the right lane, 45 feet on the left lane. This year's Masters champion starts strong. For the ladder on the PBA Tour, and he's starting to get to that next level. He said, the one thing I have to do, I have to be more aggressive on television. That's aggressive. And to not just make the safe choice. He says today he's going to do whatever he needs to do to throw the most strikes, even if it's the riskier option. Vi. Chris Vi. Man, is he really coming into his own? That was an epic 2021 U.S. Open with Jacob Buttroff. Yeah, you saw the video. You, you watched it. I mean, you saw the show. And, uh, you know, that coming down to, to the 10th frame the way it did, I mean, that's all you can ask for in a major, right? Bye, but I have to face the Masters champion in the first round. I mean, there's just, you know, there's a handful of guys out here you just don't want a part of. But he is currently on cookie probation. Mama Vi. She makes some spectacular chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Toll House. And we've got a pap sixth. Alert! If Chris Vi strikes here, he'll win $1,000. Sponsored by Pass Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. You know what goes well with cookies? Tell me after the shot. that were just perfect. Look at it. I mean, at worst, this should be a flat 10, a half 10. Watch the pin action here. Head pin, sidewall, and something just collides with it. That is a terrible break for Chris Vi. Oh. Join the tour at 16 in 2013. Side ball. Side ball. Oh, boy. He didn't like it. That's okay though. When you don't like it and you just go four pin, that's all right. Pretty good. So it may have been may have been the release, something out of his hand that he didn't like because he called it immediately, but the location at the arrows and at the break point were really good. That's how sensitive the players feel is, right? They, they can feel it immediately as soon as it leaves their hand. No argument here. Oh no. 
with urethane because of the surface of the urethane bowling ball is so coarse, it starts to beat up the front part of the lane, and it happens so quickly that the players don't see the transition. First time he's left the three, six, seven, ten all week. It's sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Want to get moving fast? With Same Day Mortgage, you can go from application to approval in as little as one business day. Time to get your dream home crazy fast. Learn more at rate.com. Oh. Oh. oh, a little filth on the seven pin right there. What do you think about this hit, John? Vi said it's about being aggressive. Former U.S. Open champ. That's aggressiveness. Yeah, it is. And exactly what he has to do, he's got to put pressure on Simonson. 15 at the arrows. Two different bowling balls. And he aces it. What a shot. Right now, it's going to come down to execution, right? I mean, he has to execute. To win. To win at a high level. One big Sam here. Ooh, Chris Fly! For a four bagger. Again, carbon copy on that left lane. It doesn't matter the count. Right, on, really, Simonson needs two strikes here in the tenth frame and five. Needs two strikes and five pins to win. Does Anthony Simonson? The 12th seed. He had to beat Jason Belmonte just to make it to today. Now trying to survive to Sunday. That's a start. To advance to the round of eight. Needing a strike. is moving on to Sunday at the players. Tomas, Keiko, and Anthony Simonson. Now, who will meet Jacob Buttruff tomorrow night? That's to be decided right here, right now. Jesper Svensson, Kevin Williams. You know, you know I love me some clutch, right? You know who else is pretty clutch? You, my friend. Thank you, Randy Peterson. You're doing a great job. Great to be with you. Here's Jesper Svensson. Eleven PBA Tour titles, 2016 PBA Tournament of Champions winner. And the man from Sweden starts with a spare. On the other side, Kevin Williams who is a renaissance man. <laughs> Career in rapping as well. He'll head to New York City in between his bowling here in New Jersey for some recording sessions. Oh. He's left this a few times this week already. Three times as a matter of fact now over the two dual pat or excuse me the dual patterns nice shot he said look i'm gonna use the same ball i'm just gonna change my speed a little Clint. bit kevin it's one of the coolest guys in our sport I, you know what i can't remember i'm just glad i got one right you know i i to sweden jolene will come here to play in the queens Ooh. Big whiff. Mm. Go the other way. Here's yeah, it's a great question. I'll give you my opinion right after the shot by Kevin on the right lane. Go oh, it did. He said go a ton. He wanted it to hold its line. It was like full throttle with every shot. 
it is. Is he not one of the most engaging people you've ever talked to? I mean, Kevin yes. Williams is just... In his childhood, he spent time in Guam, Singapore, and Hawaii. He's got an amazing story. Oh, the Iceman has quite the test. Ooh. Only made four times on television. Six times. You're a man of math. I just get, I have good people working with me. So, two seven pins for yes. And Svensson cleans that up. Both players going with your thing, John. Nine different. Williams! Great Feeling job. it. Yeah, great shot. Brilliant. He said, I thought I was a celebrity at 18. I was winning 500 bucks. That was a lot of pizza money. We could relate. Mm. Oh, Williams. I really do this. I he really does do really this. do this. Finishes that off. Hope for Kevin Williams to give me something. Not sure it's going to happen. Look at that. Another seven pin. An all too familiar shot. And, you know, we talked about this early, right? I mean, it's a marathon to get here and then a sprint. Meanwhile, we have a Pabst six-pack alert. If Kevin Williams strikes here, he'll win $1,000, sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. Kevin Williams. Another six-pack denied. I know we've already had our guaranteed rate spare the game, or spare the day rather, but I mean, this could qualify as well. Chris Vi didn't make that great conversion. See Kevin finishing second 2021 in this event of the region finals. And he keeps it rolling. Yes, for Svensson today. Funny they can be creative. Yeah, and they're so polar opposites of one another, right? That's just it. Well, you still have Jacob Buttrip to contend with and Matt Russo. And uh, if the winner gets Buttrip. You know, left-handers on the telecast, if they have a good look, if they get lined up, and they're the only one on that side. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. FS1. He trips the 6, 7, 10 out twice, throws that. a really good really good and makes an adjustment. Over. We will see Mr. Williams tomorrow night, 9.30 Eastern Time, FS1. He'll meet Jacob Buttruff. Buttruff, one of the four on to Super Slam. And not, not often that you see Jesper Spenson get stymied like this. You have no time. All right, you're gonna be amazing. Jesper Spenson with a challenging day. And here he is now, Bill O'Meal from Langhorne, Pennsylvania, less than an hour away from his home. He's been commuting from home this week. And this week, he's got his wife, Christy, his 10-year-old son, Gavin, his 5-year-old daughter, Avery, who's never watched him play in an event live. Pretty awesome. He said, yeah, man, it's, it's great. I get to stay at home. I get to take the kids to school in the morning and then come bowl a tournament. And he starts with a mess and 
messenger. Oh, a very creative messenger. Most recently at the PBA Tournament of Champions last year from England. Ten up. Barrett with the spare. And they're all trying to catch the high rev rate guys. With the cream of the crop. It's a great question. And, and unless you can match the power of EJ Tackett or the two handers, who are completely dominating the sport right now, it, it's a really tough equation. And then there's a lot of oil in the middle part of the lane. Yeah, great shot. Mr. O'Neill, the real deal. Oh, oh. He's come to bowl in front of his family. And the 2020 Players' Champ is showing us why he's won this event. A triple. Great break right here. Tripping the 4-9 out late. Four, three in a row for Bill O'Neill. Always loved Billy's game, and he's gone through a lot of changes over the years to try to stay competitive and stay at the top. Barrett. This is a matchup. And he talked about his experiences back home in England and how tough it was to get out to practice and work on his physical game, and it just wasn't possible. 239 to 202. It always is. O'Neal! Randy Peterson! We are watching greatness! That's five. Remember, John, drink responsibly. <laughs> and Barrett comes right back. Yeah, and with a little carry for Don Barrett, this could, would be a completely oh. different match halfway through, but Again, we talk about the 48 games of qualifying to get to this point, right? The marathon. And then it turns into a sprint. And in one game against anyone, and these are the greatest players in the world, anything's possible. Winning two times in 2022, Tournament of Champions, which made him a Triple Crown winner. It's had an amazing career. And has a double here. Crack it open. Week in and week out, going up against these guys, he says, hey, I come in every event fully confident in myself. As it should be. We're watching something special. That's seven. Oh, boy. Flat. It's not that Barrett has played poorly, Randy. Ball's not striking. He's not getting through the pins the right way. It's a little soft on that right lane, and it's Dom Barrett's turn. Field that started with 128. That's more like it for Dom Barrett. The reactive ball strikes. Look at the splicing these numbers at the break point, 8.2, 8.2. Reactive ball in the left lane strikes. Urethane ball in the right lane. He can't get all 10 to go down. Bill O'Neill has the first seven strikes toward bowling a perfect 300 game. Should he or any other player on today's show bowl a perfect game, everyone in America can receive a free game of bowling courtesy of Go Bowling. To pre-register, visit GoBowling.com. Sign up for the Go Bowling Free America promotion.
Complete control for O'Neal. Oh, God, get lucky. <laughs> Ooh, not lucky. Yeah, big miss there. Let's take a look at the numbers right here at the break point. A good four boards left down lane. You can see it, red line, blue line. Tells a story. And a couple of 10 pins and now a four pin on that right lane. But again, all strikes and nine spares for Dom Barrett. Only strung two strikes together. Sometimes that's the difficulty of the dual patterns, right? You get one lane, you don't get the other. And right. 45 on the left, Dick Weber. Don Carter on the right at 39. And Bill O'Neill, who didn't stay at a hotel this week, he dropped his daughter off at school, said, I felt like I was working a nine to five. Thank you. Bill O'Neill will be spending Sunday with another commute from his house. I'll look into that. Homework assignment. Oh, my. Good stuff. O'Neill is feeling right at home. Get down here. And Stay a celebration here. with son Gavin, who brought his buddies today. He hey, said, hey, hey, guys, you got to check out Pops.